Hi everyone, it's Mary from Mary's Craft Studios. I wanted to share a layout with you today. I made this layout a few days ago before I started um, the YouTube videos, um, but I wanted to share it with you even though it's already done because I've had so many people in conversations um, with people saying that they wish that there was more um, examples of using dyes on layouts M most probably 99 percent of the the um items that we see with our dies are cards so um this everything on here is crafter's companion the paper i used comes from the navy blush pad which is such a pretty pad of paper it's double-sided and it's got a sheen to it that's just gorgeous I think and I wanted something that was just kind of white and neutral as the background the frame that I used is from the vintage lace collection, the Rococo frame, and I used the frame, the outside of the frame, to cut the frame, and then the inside layer to cut the picture so that the picture fits exactly into the frame. And then, of course, I used the beautiful butterfly statement butterfly that's so absolutely gorgeous and i used uh, a holograph paper that i've had um not sure where it came from um but depending on how the light shines on it it just changes color and i use the same thing for all the layers and then use the little pearls i just thought they were absolutely gorgeous and then for the mat, I use the beautiful butterfly, majestic butterflies, the uh, 3D embossing folders. And what I ended up doing, I wanted the picture of my granddaughter in there. And the folder is made just to emboss, not to cut. So I ended up finding a nesting die that was a similar size, um, but I used a little bit of a shape to cut this section out so that I could put her picture there. And um, you can see the embossing folder, 3D embossing folders are just gorgeous. Then I used the beautiful butterfly, Butterfly Dreams for the little tiny butterflies. And I use, cut them out of water um, paper and then used um, aqua markers to color them in. Just did a soft, watery kind of feel for them. And then once that was dry, then I used the um, clear sparkling ink. And the lettering I did do on my Cricut machine because I wanted it to be small and kind of fancy. So, um, so that's it. So we used one, two, three, four different die cuts. I think it turned out pretty, turned out like I wanted it. Um, showcases my little granddaughter, the baby, and my grandson, my uh, son, my youngest son. So um, that's it for today. As always, thanks for watching. Happy crafting and hope to see you next time. Stay safe and well. Thanks for watching.